every year that they do this, it's going to get better and better and better. It's got a lot of data, a lot of data points and a lot of modeling that goes in there that I've always tried to do in my head. Well, here it is right here, illustrated right in front of me. Hey folks, Randy Newberg here. I'm down in Vegas and I finally got to see something that I know has been worked on for a long time here at Go Hunt. And a lot of us have said, if someone could figure out or even start down the path of predictive draw odds or probabilities, whatever term you want to use, that could be really helpful. So Go Hunt must have taken us serious, those of us who've asked about that, because I just saw a demonstration of what's coming up for some of the preference point states for 2025. And, uh, you know, the, the, we all think about the probabilities or chances we've had. That's always been historical data. And it doesn't take into account kind of human behaviors and, and other things. And so I just got to see a demo of where Go Hunt is and what they're going to release this year for certain states for predictive stuff yeah it's uh it's gonna be a I, it's not gonna be a hundred percent but it's gonna raise a confidence level of where point breaks are where point creep is going uh they're gonna introduce it this year and it's based on them modeling this over many years and those of you who have asked for it well, it's going to be a huge value to all of us, but those of us who've always wondered about it are going to say, this is where AI, this is where a lot of this stuff is going. And for me, uh, I'm pretty excited to see it because I, I'm like the spreadsheet guy of the world, right? I'm an accountant. I can get rid of a bunch of my spreadsheets where I've tried to do this myself. And looking at some of their modeling is like, all right. I mean, my spreadsheets are pretty much obsolete. And every year that they do this, it's gonna get better and better and better. And you know, we're talking about human behavior, so there's only a certain confidence level we can get to. You, you can't predict weather, you can't predict state agencies, you know, cutting or increasing tags, but you sure can take an awful lot of data roll it forward through these models and say, okay, based on everything that these computers are grinding on and these models are telling us, what's the outcome? Well, it's not gonna be 100% perfect, but it's gonna be a really high confidence level of where some of this is going. One of the things you're gonna see that's always been there is the historic data. So I'm looking at this and I see 2024. That's like it always has been. And I've always taken, all right, what's the tag numbers? What's the applicant numbers at each point level? And I've been trying to figure out in my head how that moves forward. Well, now here displayed, illustrated really well is the 2025 data that takes all the things I've been trying to do in my head or with my spreadsheets. And there it is. So it's a, uh, it's super cool. It's gonna save people a lot of time and is probably gonna be a whole lot more accurate. Anyone who's applied for tags and used historical data knows that using historical data, there, there's always some movement that happens and people will say, oh, according to the 2023 odds, I had a 100% chance and then the 2024 odds come out or probabilities come out and they're like, well, I didn't draw, I wonder why. Well, things move, things are changing. Applicant behavior is changing. There's a lot of things that go into that. And so some people have made the mistake of almost thinking historical odds are 100% predictive. They are not. Even predictive odds can't be 100% because we're dealing with the human element. With a model, the more years that you can work on something, the more correct or, or at least the more confidence you have in that model, so they've been able to take their models and go back to a five-year period of, say, 2017 to 2022 or 2018 to 23, and they can run them through these models and say, okay, we try, if we would have modeled this in 23, how close would we have been in, for the 24? Or keep rolling that forward to every year, right? 
<laughs> it's pretty close. So nothing's ever perfect because we're talking about human behavior. But the 2025 stuff is, it, it, it's got a lot of data, a lot of data points and a lot of modeling that goes in there that I've always tried to do in my head. Well, here it is right here, illustrated right in front of me. What I hope comes of this is those people who had those beliefs that, oh, I'm going to draw this year because last year I would have drawn. Well, this is going to take the data and roll it forward and give you a much clearer picture of within this probability, here is the likelihood that you will or won't, or here's where the point hop is going to happen and, and bump up to. So hopefully for those of you who have ever been disappointed in that way, this will at least give you some confidence levels of where you should be in the future year, in the predictive year, in this case, 2025. So log into your account, you're gonna be able to see it in the draw odds. It's gonna highlight 2025. And for certain states and certain hunt codes, that's gonna be the outputs of their models that they've been working on for a long time. And it'll be interesting to see how it works. It won't be for every state, but eventually it will be. This year, I think it's going to be mostly the preference point states like Wyoming and Colorado, maybe Arizona and Oregon. I'm trying to remember what else. But anyhow, it's something you're going to want to look for. You can get it in the draw odds when you click on that or when you click on a unit number, you'll see it there also. And it's kind of, I don't know if it'll continue to be uh, presented this way, but when I've been looking at it, they have this little light blue highlight that says hey this is predictive and then there's a little bubble that says here's what you get in predictive here's what we consider didn't consider uh it's a game changer i think a lot of you are going to look at that and you're going to start assessing okay this is how far away i am or how close i i am it's it's way more illustrative of where you stand with your point totals, with the hunt codes you're thinking about, than the historic stuff that is in the rear view mirror. Because we all know the real value of things is knowing what's coming through the front windshield. Gohan's the first one I know that has even tackled this project. They kind of dropped a few hints to me they are working on it, but I had no idea they were this far along. So, super exciting. Check for it when you're out there doing your draw odds when you're doing your unit analysis and uh, see, where it, see where it ends up for your point total for the hunt codes that you're interested in. And uh, like every computer model, the more years, the more data, the better it's gonna get. So I'm excited to see it.